This little video is for older men interested in younger women. This young girl here is 19. Her name is Christine Marie. The book is dedicated to her. She taught me everything I know the hard way. <laughs> I met her on her 19th birthday down at Bob's Big Boy. She was going to UCLA. At the end of her freshman year, she got this job, survived two foster homes, and finally got into UCLA. She and I were together for four years from uh, 84, 85, 86, 87. Yes, four years. She's one of the girls that lasted a very long time. And one day I was thinking about why did we last so long? The fact that she was at UCLA, which is two hours from my house. So we saw each other every other weekend, sometimes on a Wednesday night. And she had a boyfriend, and he was a linebacker for UCLA. If you know anything about college football, you know they have some big motherfuckers. I made a promise in the beginning. I don't ever want to meet this motherfucker. I don't want him to know my name. I don't want him to know where I live. And so, so no matter how many arguments we had, that never was a problem. And we had a lot of arguments. <laughs> Two big egos trying to fit in the same relationship. Very difficult. When she graduated, she moved uh, way down south, uh, South Orange County, I remember, working for a Japanese electronics company and got married to one of the guys who she met there. And they stayed married for eight years, and he wanted to have a baby, and she didn't, which is one of the main reasons she and I lasted so long. She was uninhibited, silly, funny. She could read me the jokes out of Playboy and make them funny. I thought they were just routine jokes, but she could tell the joke over the phone and make me howl. She's just a gifted comedian and just sexual right down to her fucking toes. She could come all the time, every time, in any position. You watch the pussy years, and you'll learn that I thought I was doing that. And it's in my other videos, too. So one day, maybe about the third year of this constant having an orgasm, no matter what we did, up against the washing machine, bent over the couch, standing on the balcony of a luxury hotel in Santa Monica fucking, she came every fucking time. And I had never seen anything like that in my life. So one night under the influence of weed and booze, I asked her, I said, how come you come every time? I come when I want to, which is every time with you. She said, even though Eric's even though Eric has a big dick, I haven't come with him for a long time. <laughs> Boy, that does your ego just wonderful fucking that's awesome. That'll make you feel good for the rest of your life. Thank you, Chris, for that, that compliment. <laughs> even though Eric has a big dick, I can't come with you guys. Well, you can get one of these girls like this. On her best day, she was a Face of a seven on any day of the year, she had tits of a 10, orgasmic, like I said, 100% all the time. She wasn't interested in other girls at all. Anal sex was just not ever going to happen with her. What's the point of this? The point of this is, guys, you can do it. Get my book, play by play, what I learned from her. The fundamentals are there. It's based on principles. Principles are things you have to do to make it happen. You get the book, Date Young Women, it was originally written for 35-year-old divorced men, but it applies to men of all ages. Even if you've never been married, it applies to you. Even if you're a young guy, it applies to you. The basics are the basics. I thought it was I couldn't get a date because I was old. No, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Either. These creatures are different. They live in a different world. They see... They look out there and they don't see what we see. It's very difficult to learn how to get along with them in a sexy way. You can get along with them at a work relationship, but I'm talking about as a friend or a companion. It takes a while because when they look out there, they don't see what we see. They can't, and we can't see what they see. So you have to be very forgiving, understanding, accepting, uh, overlooking to make it work in the beginning. Eventually, I would say after two years, if you last that long, most of them don't last that long. Most of the girls I went out with were uh, Chris for four years, Sue, Sonoda Carroll for a year plus, 
and Kim for four years. All those girls lived far away from me. And we couldn't see each other. That makes the heart grow fonder. The fundamentals apply to all girls from uh, 14 to about, uh, I, don't, I can't speak from experience, but definitely from 14 to 34, they apply. I had a girlfriend for a while, 47, and I was 77. But she had the body of an 18-year-old. Don't ask me how she managed to do it, but she had a big ass, 24, maybe even a 23-inch fucking waist and 38-inch hips and just drove me nuts from the day I saw her when she was 18. And I was with my girlfriend, Kim, and we went to this Mexican restaurant, and she was the hostess. And her ass stuck out so far that the uh, skirt should be straight across the bottom, up in the back, <laughs> to get over that hump. And I fell in love right there. That was, and she had the face of a fucking goddess. She still does at 55 years old. Not a fucking wrinkle. But it's just, it's all still there. Bright blue eyes. And just a doll. It's an absolute doll. Now I would imagine those are about as rare as a fucking pink unicorn. Okay. And I just chased her from the time she was 18 until 30 fucking years I chased that girl. She was worth it. We lasted for uh, 2008 to 2013, five years. I just couldn't take it anymore. She's the most financially irresponsible person I've ever met in my life. This this can't go anywhere. I can't possibly put up with that. So I just ended it. The principles work on everybody, even 47-year-old girls. They're in the book. Read the fucking book. Pay attention. Underline, what, what do you call it? Highlight certain things. I used to recommend you read it three times. Once, just read it through like an entertaining book. Second time, read through and look for the things that apply to you. And third time, read it again. They should all be like a month apart. Your subconscious is sorting and dealing and putting things where they belong between readings. Every successful guy I worked with had read the book at least three times listened to the radio show at least three or four times, and read all the newsletters a couple of times. And I mean, guys who'd never been kissed were able to do it. So if they can do it, you can do it. You just have to get at it and stick to it by making mistakes. But that's how you learn. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you learn from that. Most guys aren't very uh, self-aware. I, I preach, after the fuck up, you say to yourself, what did I do? And write it down. What I did. What happened? She quit talking to me. What I wish I would have done, not stared at that other girl's tits. That's how you can tell your subconscious, don't do this. That's called the three-column exercise. That's straight out of humanistic psychology. It'll help you change. Birth control was everywhere. Everybody was fucking. It was the 80s. Cocaine, sex, rock and roll, it was fucking heaven. Best decade on the planet. But never happen again. This is just too much rambling. I don't know what to tell you guys, except if I can do it, you can do it. Get in shape, slim and trim. You've got to look good. you got to look like a fucking man, not some middle-aged lump. Put the fucking miles on. I used to run to the top of Turnbull, up this canyon here. Every fucking day, two and a half miles up, two and a half miles down, every fucking day, until my heart said, no, I can't do that. But it changes you. Your thighs get bigger, your ass gets bigger, your calves. There was just a whistle at me, my fucking legs when I wore shorts. All right, you got to look. You got to look like she wants somebody, it's like somebody she wants to get on top of her. That's number one, okay? If you, if you don't look desirable sexually, your age immediately disqualifies you. You have to be fuckable. I don't know how to make that any clearer than that. You're not going to get laid if you're fat. You're not going to get laid if you're skinny and wimpy. Build some fucking muscle. Lift weights. Run, 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 run. Run changes everything. Changes your mind. Changes your attitude. Makes you assertive. You're pushing yourself through the environment every day. You're meeting your goals. You're doing all sorts of things for your self-esteem by running. 
and it shows to women. They can see you're a confident man, you, you meet your goals, you keep your word. They can see all that without thinking about it. It changes you. Go change yourself. This is Don Steele saying, if I can do it, you can do it. Get the book, read the book, practice the book. Expect it to be two years from the time you buy the book. It took me five years to go from where you are to where I got to. But you have all of the advantage of all my mistakes written down there and what to do and all the videos. Christ, there must be 2,000 by now of everything I've done wrong and everything I've done right and what to do in this situation and that. You should be fucking your brains out two years from now with a girl that's under 30. No, under 28. You will figure out how to get below the 30-year-old barrier with all this data. Aloha.